Hi guys, I'm here to share my testimony about Sahil immigration. Um, I have been following Sahil for over two years now, uh, almost two years, I think, yes, for sure. Um, in my opinion, Sahil is one of those consultants. I've actually I've met a lot of consultants, honestly, and I've I've paid so much for their consultation fee. But uh, the only one I found, uh, you know, uh, worthy of the money that I've actually paid was Sahil because. Um, He's one of those consultants who will not sugarcoat things for you. He will give you honest, factful, knowledgeable, interesting information uh, that you need to know uh, in regard to your goal that you have in mind or the dream that you have in mind. He will never sugarcoat things for you, sure. And I think that helps us understand where we stand and where we need to be to achieve our goal. He'll give you a realistic understanding and picture so thank you for being so honest sahil and i think you must continue doing the same uh, thank you so much for that uh, coming to my testimony what am i here to testify i'm here to testify that i at the age of 40 have received my student visa from canadian uh, government so uh, the government has uh, invited me to study in their country so i'm 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 amused and it's a very interesting and amazing fact at the same time. How did all this come in the being? I think Sahil is the best one to answer that for you. So I'll leave that to you, Sahil. But um, let me give you a little background about, you know, how things were with me and why uh, I'm, I'm obliged to Sahil for making this happen for me is because four years ago, I had applied for a visitor visa to Canada and I got rejected. And I have no idea why, because the reason was not specified at the time. Um, having said that, two years ago, I also applied for my PR uh, in Canada and I applied an express entry in all possible provinces that you perhaps could think about. And uh, I couldn't see uh, light at the end of the tunnel is because uh, my age was, you know, uh, moving up the ladder and uh, the NOC court that I belong from was not really much in demand because I deal more with soft skills rather than hard skills. So I, I just did not know if this could ever be possible for me. I also always had this dream of studying in Canada, but... Um, Whenever I have interacted with Indian consultants, like I think when I was 35 since then, I've been trying to reach out to Indian consultants and asking them to help me file for my study visa in Canada. And they all kept saying, oh, it's not going to be possible for you. Um, you're, you're 35, you're 36, you're 37, and you're not the cream audience and you will never be picked up. The government is going to find you a liability and you will never be picked up. So, you know, you might as well forget the dream, so on and so forth. But when I met Sahil and when I shared this uh, thought of mine with him, he was the uh, only one who explained to me the fact that age is not a factor when it comes to education in Canada. What needs to be right here is the file. The file needs to be strong and the reasons need to be stronger. So I think he will tell you uh, how he filed my application. He's a better uh, person to, you know, um, talk about it. But he helped me understand what documents are required, what is the process, how we need to go about it. And I followed everything that he actually told me to do. So uh, I think um, he has presented my file really, really well. And the, uh, you can see um, the result of it is that I today stand in front of you. Actually, I'm sitting in front of you, letting you know that at age 40, I will be flying to Canada very soon to pursue my further education. And all of this has only come through is because of you, Sahil. I can never thank you enough and acknowledge that this dream would be impossible without you. So thank you. God bless you. Bless your family. Bless your business immensely today and forever. Thank you.